Good day. I'm Lloyd Perrin, Director of Asset Management and Development Services for the Municipality of Central Elgin. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you today to the Municipality of Central Elgin's virtual grand opening of our new Port Stanley Fire Station. The new station replaces the historic station which was located at 218 Joseph Street in the heart of Port Stanley. The new Port Stanley station is now located at 5120 Sunset Road. This new Central Elgin facility stands prominently at the intersection of East Road and Sunset Road and serves as a gateway feature to the entrance to Port Stanley. The architectural style of the new Port Stanley station captures the architectural design of Central Elgin's Lakeside Village while incorporating modern technology that serves the present and will carry the fire service into the future. With financial support from the Federation of Canadian Municipalities Green Municipal Fund, as well as partial funding from development charges realized from new growth, this facility will accommodate the community's emergency services needs for generations to come. This structure supports Council in achieving one of the municipality's strategic goals of being both environmentally and financially sustainable. This new 8,300 square foot state-of-the-art station is environmentally friendly in every way and was built with the purpose of decreasing the municipality's environmental footprint. The new Port Stanley Fire Station is Canada's first net zero energy and net zero carbon emergency services building. It is entirely constructed using renewable mass timber and corrugated laminated timber building materials. The building's heating and cooling are provided by environmentally sustainable ground source geothermal energy. The electricity required to run electrical and mechanical systems, as well as to provide lighting, is offset by electricity generated by the solar photovoltaic panels that cover the parking lot. The location of the panels help to reduce the heat island effect caused by the parking lot that is necessary to service the new station. Tall grass prairie grasses are used to landscape the parking area and remnant property. This tall grass prairie, once established, will provide habitat for birds, butterflies, and other pollinators. The formal landscaping around the administration area has been kept to a minimum. Plantings require minimal maintenance and irrigation, therefore protecting and preserving our water resources. The new Port Stanley Station honors the commitment and dedication of Port Stanley's past, present, and future firefighters. The station's design will meet the current and future demands of this growing community, and its location accommodates multiple entry routes into Port Stanley. This station will not only be the fire station and home of roughly 25 dedicated volunteer firefighters, but it will also be one of the municipality's emergency operations center in the event of a large-scale emergency in the municipality. The new station, built with standby power and cutting-edge information technology and building systems, will provide a location for municipal staff and other agencies to manage a catastrophic event that requires coordination between fire, police, ambulance, and other social services. On behalf of all Central Elgin firefighters, I would like to thank the Mayor and Council for their foresight and vision to approve and construct such a much needed new station and for their continued support of the fire service. I officially declare this new Port Stanley Fire Station open. Carbon monoxide alarm sounding at 21.